several of my viewers have had a question on how can they create a form that they can post online to their website. And so today I'm going to show you how you can do this using Google Forms. We're going to create a form in Google Forms and then I'm going to show you how you can generate the HTML code that you'll need that you can post it on your website and then you'll have an online form available for users who visit your website and they can fill that form in and you can get the responses back. All right, so we're going to take a look at Google Forms. There um, is a personal free version of Google Forms if you search Google Forms online. And there's also the business version. So if your company does use G Suite, you can use the business version. I'm just going to use the personal free version just to show you how easy it is to create the form and then generate the HTML code. So all you have to do is create a blank form document. And if you have a Gmail email address and you're logged into your account on your browser, as you create this form, it's going to automatically save to your Google Drive, which is nice. So we're going to create a form. We're just going to say um, employee um, exit interview. And all we have to do is click here in the first question. And the first question I'm going to ask is employee name. Then what we can do is come over here to your drop down is where you can select the type of question that this is. So you can have, um, so when you're creating a form in Word, you know, if you want to have a text box, right, that's like your short answer or your paragraph. Um, multiple choice uh, will give check boxes where people can have multiple choice. You have multiple choice check boxes, drop down lists. Um, you can have a linear scale. There's different things that you can try and play around with. So we're going to create a couple of questions real quick just so you can see how easy it is to create your Google form. All right, all, then all we have to do is come over here to add another question. We're going to select here and we're going to say department. We want to know what department somebody's in. I'm going to select multiple choice and then I'm going to type in each of my answer options. All right, then I'm going to add another question. And I'm going to use a linear scale for this. And I want the label on label one to be um, unsatisfied. And label five is very satisfied. All right, so now I've created a couple of questions for my survey. And um, the nice thing about Google Forms is that you can play around with this. It's very intuitive and easy to use. If you come up here to your settings, you have some um, ability to customize your theme. You can change the color of your form. You can change the background color. You can e even change the font style if you want to. And um, you have some different options there that you can play around with to um, modify your form. And again, it automatically saves your settings for you as you go. Then what you'll want to do to generate the code once you're ready to launch um, this survey to your users and the folks that you want to fill in this survey or this form, you're going to click on the send button. And up here are your options for sending this out. And you'll notice you can send it through email. If you have a list of email addresses that you want to send this to, you can send that to your list of emails and it will email the form um, to someone and they can fill it out even on their mobile device, it's very easy. You can check the box to include the form within the email, and then the user can actually fill in the form via their email. Uh, you also have an option to generate a link to the survey. So if you want to post this link somewhere or use a different email to send this out, you have a, a link that you can use to send to people for this form. And then here is where we're going to click uh, to generate the HTML code. So this is for the folks who are wanting to post an online survey to their website. This is what you are going to use to do that. So whether you have a WordPress site or something like that, if you know where you want to place this code on your website, all you have to do is copy it and paste it onto your website. And then the, you'll have uh, the code that you need for your web form. The nice thing about Google Forms is I have a form here that I've already launched and uh, filled it, have it filled in by a few folks. And you'll notice up here, I can come to my responses. And so I've had three responses so far to my survey. And the nice thing is that it will automatically show me a summary of the results. And I can look at a summary, I can look at question by question, and I can look at individual responses. 
Then if I come up here to the options, I can actually download the responses into a CSV format. It downloads down here. I'm going to open it up. And I can open up and see the responses um, to the survey here in an Excel format. So this is a very easy way that you can create an online form that you can use and post on your website using Google Forms. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. Hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and check out the other playlists on my channel on creating fillable forms. You'll learn how to create fillable forms in Microsoft Word and in Microsoft Excel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.